Hi everyone, this is Dan with Data Trend. In today's video, what I want to do is uh, show everyone how to how to beta weight positions on the Analyze tab in the Thinkorswim software. So right now, what we're doing is we're over here. We're on the Analyze tab. Uh, you can see right here the Analyze, and and at the top, what we have is we have SPX in here, and what we're looking at here in the risk graph is an image of uh, an SPX broken wing butterfly that's on right now. So if we come down here, we can see the actual legs of this butterfly. Uh, we have the 1875, 1840, 1795. Um, and this is the standard view, you know, when you're in, inside of the, the risk graph. You see the symbol that you've put up here in the window. And, and one of the things that we like to do on the Thetatron blog is to trade some of the ETFs like SPY or IWM against the bigger positions like RUD or SPX. So in, in this video, we're going to switch this to SPY, and we'll look at this both in terms of SPX or in terms of SPY, whichever, uh, whichever you prefer. So in order to do that, what we do is come down here, and you can see there's this drop-down menu, and it says Single Symbol or Portfolio Beta Weighted, so we can choose. Um, so if I click over to Portfolio Beta Weighted, and I'm going to go ahead and move this up here just to show you what we see down below because it is kind of small. So what we see down here is when we put that onto beta weighted, we also get any other positions that we have that we're looking at in, in the um, Analyze tab. And right now I only have a position in SPX, you know, and that's what we're looking at there, just one of them. But what I've done here is I've gone in and I've analyzed this SPY Feb 16 167 put. And so if I click that on now, you can see that the risk graph is now showing the position um, including the SPY in terms of SPX. And we know that because the beta symbol up here is SPX. So if we wanted to look at this in terms of SPY, we could just change that to SPY. Um, and then all of a sudden, we can see here, you know, the current SPY price is this 187.81, which is, which is roughly that 1880 in the SPX. Um, and so, so I mean, that's, that's essentially it. The one thing that you need to be careful of when you have these is say we had another position in here, like in IWM. I'm just going to go in and, and analyze the trade. Um, say I also put a 78 IWM put. The point, the point is not that, that it's in there. Or actually, let's put it a little bit closer to the money. Um, so you can see now the IWM put's also on there, in addition to the SPY put, and then whatever I have checked inside of SPX. So one of the things you want to be careful of when you're when you're doing this on the portfolio beta weighted is just that you don't have any positions checked that that you don't intend to evaluate um, or that you intend to analyze because it can sort of throw you off and make things seem like they don't make any sense. And and the only other feature that's worth pointing out here is that you do have this option to show everything to hide positions or to hide simulations. And what that means is this is an actual position, uh, this broken wing butterfly. This spy put that I've thrown on here to evaluate is a simulation. So if we check this box and we go hide positions, we're left just with the put, which we can't really see, but we get the idea, I think, right? So there's that put. Um, and if we go here and we say hide simulations, we go back just to the broken wing butterfly. And if we show all, of course, we see both. So that's all I have today. I, I hope that helps if you're trying to figure out how to beta weight symbols on the Analyze tab. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. My email is info at thetatrend.com. Thanks for watching.